Welcome back everyone. I've got a fun one for you today. I'm going to show you how to create this cool sunset in a light bulb composite photo effect in Affinity Photo 2.5. I started with this amazing sunset image that I got from pixabay.com. Then I duplicated the image by clicking on Command or Control J. Next, I opened up a second image of someone holding a light bulb by going to File and then Place, selecting the file and dragging it onto my screen. I'll leave links to both images in the description. All right, now with the light bulb layer selected, I'll click on the Selection Brush tool in the left-hand toolbar. I'll paint over the hand, arm and light bulb until I have a nice selection and then I'll click on the Refine button in the top toolbar. All right, now there's a pink hue on this guy's hand. So I'll switch from the pink overlay preview to the white matte preview. From here, I can see that I have a pretty good selection around all the edges. So I'll go to the output dropdown and select new layer with mask and then click apply. Then I noticed that there were a couple gaps between the guy's fingers but I can fix that by selecting the mask on the hand cutout layer, then clicking on my paintbrush tool, changing the paint color to black, and then reducing my brush head size to fit in the tiny spaces between his fingers. All right, that looks pretty good. The next thing I'm gonna do is select the duplicate background layer, and then I'll click on the arrow shaped move tool in the top left toolbar. I'll then make the image smaller by click, dragging on the corner nodes. Then I'll drag and drop the small sunset layer above the hand cutout layer. Next, I'll lower the opacity of the layer a bit by using the opacity slider at the top of the layers panel. Once I can see the light bulb below, I can make a couple more adjustments to the size and positioning. There, that looks good so I'll raise the opacity slider back up. Then, I'll click on the little dot to the right of the small sunset layer to turn it off for a moment. I practiced this earlier and had some issues with the filament showing through in the end product. So, I'll get rid of the filament altogether by click on the in-painting tool and painting over it. All right, now that that's gone, I'll select the light bulb layer and then go to select in the menu and then selection from layer. You can see those marching ants come out indicating the selection area. Then, with the selection still active, I'll switch to the little sunset layer and then I'll click on the layer mask button at the bottom of my layers panel to add a mask. Then, I'll go to layers in the menu and select invert to invert the mask. An inverted mask turns the mask solid black and makes the image on that layer disappear. You can paint the image back on by selecting your paintbrush tool and then changing the color to white. I'll just paint over the bulb. Notice how the area of the little sunset that is revealed stays within the selection area. I'll just be careful around the screw part of the bulb. I'll reduce my brush head size by clicking the left square bracket key a few times and then get the fine edge here at the bottom of the glass. Then I can select Command or Control D to deselect the bulb area. I'll zoom back out here and wow, I think that looks pretty good so far. But there are a couple more things I wanna do before I finish up. First, I think the hand and arm are a bit too bright. So I'll select that layer again and then go to the Adjustments button at the bottom of the Layers panel and select Brightness and Contrast. I'll drop the Adjustment layer onto the Light Bulb layer and then lower the brightness down a bit. Okay, that looks better. Okay, next, I think I want to crop this down a bit to remove some of the arm and to put more focus onto the bulb area. So, I'll click my Crop tool in the left-hand toolbar. It was set to a custom ratio. I'll just use the drop-down to change it to the original ratio of the image. Then, I'll make some adjustments to the crop box so that the sun in the light bulb sits right in the top right third of the image. As far as the composition goes, I think this makes for a big improvement. I'll click Apply to bake in the changes. 
All right, the last thing I want to do before I let you go is to put a slight glow around the light bulb. This is really easy to do. I'll select the top layer and click Command or Control J to duplicate it. Then, I'll right click on the lower light bulb layer and scroll down to Rasterize to put it into a single pixel layer. Then, I'll go to the Live Filters button at the bottom of the Layers panel and I'll select Gaussian Blur. I'll raise the slider up all the way to add that little bit of glow that I want. If I turn the blur layer on and off, you can see the difference it makes. And so yeah, there you go. Feel free to let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, that's about it for today. If you learned something and want to see more of this kind of content, please click those like and subscribe buttons. And if you're feeling generous, this channel runs on caffeine. There's a link to buy me a cup of coffee in the descriptions. Not necessary, but certainly appreciated. Have a great day, everyone.